<laughs> Am I laughing? Am I crying? We never know. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hi. Welcome to this week's episode of the Pony Pod, which is brought to you by very two very overtired and hysterical <laughs> podcast hosts. So, if it makes no sense, just go with it. Do you need the first one? Yep. So buy one instead of your name. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so my one. <laughs> Long day. I just had to drop my car into the garage because it had to use a new clutch. So I'm like, carless, and I'm gonna have to spend a lot of money on it. And I've been driving it around since Thursday because I've been able to make With it no work. clutch. And I, mean, I needed it because I was doing lots of teaching, and I was like, I'm really, really poor. I need to get to the teaching, and I got it to the garage and sort of parked it. And he came out. I was like, I'll just do a little road test. You freewheeled it. <laughs> and um, he sat in it, and there was an awful lot of not a lot of moving. And he literally drove it. I kid you not like three meters and then got out and was like yeah it needs a new clutch i'm not gonna bother test driving that and i was like oh i should have told you that i didn't even get in the car <laughs> okay start <laughs> do you tape your cross-country boots yes i don't why do you tape your cross-country boots habit <laughs> <laughs> it always gets me when people tape them because so i don't tape mine because they fit the velcros work and when I get when I get back from cross country I want to get the boots off as fast as possible I don't want to be wrestling with tape on the well, bottom it depends on the tape you get because I've got some tape that you just put your hand behind your finger yeah. behind pull it and it comes out and done yeah but it's down ping 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 off 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 okay. but you still have to go ping 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 off 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 instead of just off 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 yeah <laughs> like... Janelle Price tapes her cross country boots I'm going with that <laughs> but like and I always see people doing it and I'm just like but surely, if your Velcro isn't working, you need new boots. Part is a way of getting your cross-country colours on your horse's legs too, because you can get pretty coloured tape. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> from, a, from an aesthetic <laughs> of you. When I do internationals, great. I put the three strands on, and I do red, and then white, and then blue. Oh, and it does <laughs> it looks like a nice Dutch flag. <laughs> For those that can't see because it's a podcast, <laughs> Tess has her face in her hands. <laughs> I can't, I can't win today anymore. <laughs> because it's the Dutch flag. And that's how I ended up with stitches. I didn't know you had stitches. Oh, did you not hear this story? No. I feel like maybe we should turn the podcast off for the story because I don't want it to ever end up. Well, no, everyone has their sees no. So, I, okay. can, I can crop it out. <laughs> I'll take it out. I'll add it to a blooper reel. <laughs> Out Don't go just do no riding guys. <laughs> no. So second last night, and um, we were staying in like this barn in the Netherlands. Yeah. And the stairs in the Netherlands are so steep. Yeah, like, a I ladder. think I have heard that. It's like this. Yeah. And I got to go to the loo, and I yeah. missed the top step. I went straight to the bottom. On your face. I don't know. I honestly <laughs> like it was dark. And I properly, I must have like blacked out when I hit the floor. Um, and then the next thing I remember is knowing that I'd got up to go to the loo, so going to the loo. Yeah. And then everyone like knocking on the door like, Alex, Alex, are you okay? Are you okay? Because all they heard was like, thump. <laughs> For anyone who's still listening and is confused with what happened, I'm here with a very tired, if quote unquote, not hungover. Not hungover at all. <laughs> Yeah, you might want to build them up till they're out 24-7. I mean, I know we keep my horse coming in, but that's because she gets miserable if you leave her out. She thinks you're ignoring her. <laughs> but I mean, it's so much easier if you can just leave them out. I think my horse time. would become feral. Yeah. And she's bad enough to catch it. I think <laughs> come back after two months. She'd be like, some wait, of them do, human? Some of them do do that. My friend bought a horse from Ireland. It was a youngster, got it home, turned it out, and they couldn't catch it for two weeks. <laughs> Every time they went to the field, they'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> it's been madness. Like we, so they're filming in one of the barns just in front of the yard. And it's all been fine. It's been very good, apart from in the wind today. The horses very lit up. We had five horses about to go out to go and walk down the road. And ten actors come up the hill. <laughs> what were they in- filming? some period drama yeah. but 10 actors come up the hill in um tinfoil blankets 
and five of them horses collectively lose their minds and none of the actors stop or stop anything flapping they just keep proceeding up the hill as all these horses are going ballistic and like they're up they're spinning they're galloping back up the yard like, ev- like anything that could go wrong went wrong <laughs> we were just there like stop stop this madness and they just kept coming and coming and coming <laughs> you had your lorry, but you had part. You had your little one. Yeah. Oh yeah, I did. I have my little one, but I had a tent as well. Mm. <laughs> You're yeah, so I slept in my big blue lorry that always used to break down and didn't have a radio. I just hit it with a boot. But I mean, anyway, our lorry doesn't one have a radio because the so the radio doesn't work. No one knows why it doesn't work, and we don't have any plans for the electrics. And um, oh, we spoke to our mechanic about it. He was like, "Look, I can fix the radio for you, but it means we're going to have to take the entire cab off." <laughs> You can maybe get away with not having a radio. (laughs) And for anything over seven and a half tons, you need a category C, which is your HGV. But they don't call it an HGV anymore, they call it an LGV because it's a large goods vehicle. Isn't that your 7.5? No. Mm. So when I. That's me. I bet that's the woman from the riding school. Oh. We'll re record that first bit when you've answered your phone. Maybe we'll leave it in. I'll call her later. Okay, so um, no, they now call anything, um, they call anything over seven and a half tons, it's called an LGV, so it's called a large goods vehicle. Because when I did my theory, on the screen it said like theory test for LGV test, Mm -hmm. and I had an absolute panic being like, oh my god, mum's booked the wrong test. (laughs) Oh my god, this is gonna be so embarrassing. (laughs) And I like put my hand up, and it's like, strict strict test conditions like you're not allowed to talk to anyone you're not allowed to look at anyone like everything is strict and if you want anything you have to put your head up and then be escorted Mm -hmm. out and everything and like the woman came over and she was like what and i was like am i meant to be doing my hgv and she was like that is your hgv and walked out and i was like "Ah!" (laughs) i'm so sorry yeah that's fine i'm sorry and then i went out and she was like did you panic i was like i did panic i'm sorry Um, you can use two bandages, so you go do one all the way to the bottom of the tailbone and then one from just up from there all the way to the bottom of the tail because it helps to keep them clean before a show. Mm-hmm. And that's the only real reason you would do it. Um, I didn't realise that your took two, so I always thought people that did that had extremely long tail bandages. And then I started <laughs> working here and I was like, oh, it's two! <laughs> <laughs> I'd never done it before, I know it's a thing, I always just plaited my tail after the tail bandage. I love when stuff happens and you're like, oh my god, I'm so thick. Yeah. <laughs> so thick. Another um, thing for long journeys you could use is a pole guard. Yeah. Um, Are you yawning on... again? <laughs> do you want to do that again? <laughs> <laughs> um, grooming kit and a spare lead rope. They always break them. Oh wait, if you don't have a spare. What? I had this thing happen at Twitter now on Friday. Yeah. So it's my one horse... of the break of No. So my horse is tied to the side of the lorry. She yeah. can be a bit funny anyway, but only if she's near the door. Yeah. Like the group the door isn't out of the living. Yeah. So but the horse on board started having an absolute fit because yeah. he saw his friend at the bottom of the ramp and the lorry was starting to wobble and she was like, I'm out of here. So she pulled <laughs> back and as she broke the string, she's got one of those quick release yeah. clips on her head collar. Yeah. That undid as well. And so she was just like, whoa, and I was like, I'm chilling and I'm not attached to anything. And you know my horse, what a good pony. she's not the best to catch anyway. And the first time it happened, I was like, ah. Uh. And she just stood there and was like, okay. I mean, after having worked at the first like professional event yard I worked at, now I always I take a spare head collar, at least one. Mm-hmm. If you've got five horses, maybe two. And it always at least one spare lead rope because we had one that you'd tie up on the side. And it might be fine. And it might be fine all day. Or you might tie it up and it might, for whatever reason, <laughs> just decide to go. And every time, it would, the, the, the bale of twine never broke. I don't, And I don't understand why. It was only this horse, he must have had a special technique for doing it. But every time he snapped either the lead rope or his head collar. And then you're at an event with a horse with no head collar on and you're just like, ah, oh my God. <laughs> For anyone who couldn't see my face in that scenario, <laughs> it was just a flat panic. It's the worst situation to be in. When your rider's got to be on in five minutes and you're like, I need to catch the horse. <laughs> and I have seen someone try and load their horse for a full hour. And then someone I else was know. like, look, I'll try and do it. And we'll see. Like, you stand, by, you stand by the side, don't say anything. I'll try once. We'll see how it goes. And she literally, like, gave it a stern click and <laughs> up the ramp it went. <laughs> First time. <laughs> 
Like, it makes such a difference. My horse, you can't load if you are in front of her. Yeah. Because she has to decide to go on the lorry. <laughs> She's such a diva. She's such a princess. Um, so if you get ahead of her, She's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> but this is fine. Apart from the other day, we had to put her right on the back of the lorry. Yeah. Like the last smallest yeah. bit. She's like, she's 15 too. She should yeah. fit, it's fine. But she like stormed up the ramp and then was like, no, ah, no, no, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and she our reversed horse. at high speed. And I was like, ah. <laughs> our horses are so different. Mine, you could you could put her on like the other side of the partitions with the ramp closing on her and she'd be like, this is fine. This is where you've put me. <laughs> like, she'd be absolutely fine with that. It took her like a couple of attempts, and then she was like, "Ah, oh, okay, I stand here." And then she like, squeezed herself in. I was like, "I got this." And you're like, <laughs> "Would she understand?" Did the same thing to me when I went to Osberton. Yeah. Because I packed all the stuff. I have my little three and a half ton. Yeah. So I packed all the stuff in the position I'd normally travel her yeah. in, so that if anything happened, I can get her off. Yeah. And I was like, I don't want to have to unpack stuff. Yeah. And then I tried to get her on, and she's like, there's not enough room! <laughs> <laughs> so I had to park the lorry in between two stables, yeah. with where the chute was, get the route, and there was a proper chute, and I had to like, lead her on diagonally so she could like <laughs> get her to work out where she had to stand. And she's like, oh, okay. what, What's her show name again? What a prima donna. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> good name, good name. <laughs> That's all I plan on doing. When I taught this for B test, I the only way I could make it interesting, like the only way I could think to make it interesting was I bought along gummy worms. I was like, <laughs> I've got you sweets. Now sit down and learn it. <laughs> this is all I can think about. I can't think. I wonder what my worst topic is. I was teaching Pony Care last week and you'll love this because um, someone asked me a question. Yeah. Um, and I loved whatever the answer was. And the rest of them were like, oh, she's off again. <laughs> oh, she's, she's gone. She's gone. You are all excited now. <laughs> I feel like you teach better when you're really overexcited about something. Yeah. And this is why worming is... I'm not good at teaching worming because I literally am just like, oh, it's just... <laughs> I'm doing that. Can I... I'm going to admit to you what I've eaten in the last 24 hours. Go for it. I, it won't um, be as bad as what I've eaten. I've literally eaten donuts today. Mm. So I have eaten a box of those. They're really yummy. I'm going to stop eating them. A, box of, a packet of ring donuts, a packet of jam donuts, mm. and a box of filled billionaire caramel donuts. Why so many donuts? Reduced. Just all of them? Mm-hmm. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> And um, well, because they go off today, so mm. they can't put them Yeah, in the but like, why is no one buying donuts? Because I got there early. <laughs> and okay. I got a good one. So um, I've eaten that, and I've eaten two bananas. I've been, I have been quite good today. An apple and a plum. That's literally what I've eaten today. Two donuts and a bit of fruit. Is that it? Have we covered the whole thing? Yeah. Oh my goodness. See, that wasn't as funny as the travelling episode. I do, but worming is boring. <laughs> like, the travelling episode was actually making me laugh as I was editing. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> I, I was listening to the one with the interview with Kelly when yeah. I was mucking out and I, I had a little giggle at my, ah, oh, <laughs> they <that's a> joke. <laughs> yeah, there's not as many. I feel like maybe it's, it's because. You can't be funny about worming. I mean, it, it, I feel like we should just test it and made like a worm song. A worm rat? <laughs> no, Tess has no. given me a really like, don't ever say that again kind of face. <laughs> Let's, I think for for all of our listeners, I'm going to speak for everyone when I say please don't ever make us rap. <laughs> Listen to this voice. Do, do you think this voice can rap? <laughs> yeah, but then we can make it and some of our listeners, someone with a better rapping voice, could send it back to us. Sunny I think you're being very optimistic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think any of us. I think you'll be you'll be you're going all secondary school, cool secondary school teacher. Let's make a rap about Oxford Lakes. Okay, so we can tell the teachers the most pony care round. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I, I um, think I think a rap is a no. <laughs> One of my friends, I mean, a human nits, a human life as opposed to horse life. Um, when he got nits when he was young, his mum couldn't be bothered to do the knit comb thing, so she poured a bottle of gin over his head. <laughs> it works. <laughs> <laughs> Those lice do not survive. And he now has a real taste for gin. <laughs> really, really <laughs> likes it. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Very effective parenting technique there for any parents listening. Kid has lice. Um, Just cheap gin will be fine. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> but you have a bad habit of leaving stuff in that I'm like, please take it out, take it out. So there's one episode we started and it was, so all I've eaten today I is donuts. <laughs> I've eaten ring donuts, chocolate donuts, mini donuts, and you were just sat there like, was, this is great. It was an episode on what's it, what it's like being a working people and I couldn't think of anything more descriptive <laughs> than all I've eaten is donuts today. And my brother is, he used to be like our number one fan, so he sent me a text being like, how many donuts was it? With how many like, numbers? And I was like, oh my God. Yeah, we got disqualified for her bad behaviour in the vet. Because <laughs> she... I told the vet that he'd have to be gentle with her and to watch her back end. And mm-hmm. she ended up knocking him over and then rearing at him as he was trying to stand up again. Nice. Um, <laughs> this happened to me. This happened to me. This, happened to me. this sort of thing happened to me. My pony was amazing to vet at endurance rides. But our vet at home was Danish. Mm. And he hated the vet. And we got a German <laughs> male vet at... The vetting, and he was absolutely fine until he spoke, and then my <laughs> oh, horse no. was like, <laughs> and he would not stand still. <laughs> he was like, "You followed me, you followed me," and then he had to get the, his work experience student to take my horse's heart rate, and then he was like, "Fine, I'll stand." <laughs> You're exactly the English one. <laughs> <laughs> it was so bad, and that was all we put it down to because every other endurance ride, he was absolutely <laughs> fine. <laughs> Sorry, back to your story of your ponies. I can't remember anything because I'm very tired from watching that island. <laughs> oh, that sounds like a good reason to be tired. I'm tired because I drove a long way yesterday. Realistically, it's a terrible reason to be <laughs> tired because it's the worst show in the world and yet also so good. But at least it's like a fun reason to be tired. <laughs> yeah, there is that. Dedication to a TV program. So anyway... If you do have boots that are a bit tight, they do, there's not a lot of extra padding, so you're more likely to be able to get your zips done up. We used to have that every time we went to a bucket competition in the winter, all of us would put on a little bit of winter weight and we'd have like us and Bristol, so Oxford Brooks team and Bristol team, we'd have like a group let's get everyone's boots on like <laughs> session and you'd have oh like God. one person on one side holding it in, one person on the other side, one person getting the zipper. <laughs> The only thing that isn't great is the pocket. So the pocket, when it has my phone in, it like pushes my phone so it's vertical and then sits it at my hip joint. So every time I flex my hip, I've either got it digging into my hip or my thigh. That's why I really like the pocket on the leggings. Yeah. Because it thought it was really clever that then you don't have that problem. Yeah, but like, so I have a pair of tannin breeches on at the moment and these pockets are big enough that I can put my phone horizontal so it sits like across the mm-hmm. front of my hip. And I, like, that's my, has that's been my favourite so far. My mm-hmm. favourite, like, mm-hmm. organisation of phone <laughs> pocket. Which is really important when you're riding. Yeah, really and important. also they're big enough that I, like, I mean, I can fit, like, keys, my asthma inhaler, my phone, my what? lorry keys, and you know how big the bunch of lorry keys wow. are. Oh, uh, what size oh are these God, pockets? amazing. I mean, like, obviously this is terrible radio for everyone. <laughs> but, like, I mean, that's her full hand spread for, out. For the listeners, Tess has <laughs> just put her hands in her pockets and it's gone right up to her wrists. And her fingers are all spread out. Uh, Yeah, and they go, like, the pocket reaches from, like, fly all the way to the outside seam. Like Those are incredible If anyone from Townend is listening, I would like some free breaches. Uh, Let's do grass types now. So, uh, you tend to be asked what are, like, good grasses to have your horses eating and bad grasses to have your horses eating. And the way I always remember the good ones is quite a lot... You'll be asked to name, like, two or three. And quite a lot of them are named after animals, the good ones. So there's Cockfoot, <laughs> Coxfoot, Crested Dog's Tail, and um, Timothy, which is just a name, but or, it sticks in my head. Or Cat Tail's my name, but... Cat's Tail. Oh, Timothy. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh. There you go, it's another animal for you. Um, and then Ryegrass is another good one. And then the other one that everyone always remembers is Meadow Fescue, because it sounds like Meadow Rescue. And Meadowfest is also the one that you do the here's the tree in summer, here's the tree in winter, here's a bunch of flowers, here's an April shower, that one. I'm so glad that wasn't me, just me that did that. If anyone's not done that, <laughs> it's, a, it's, a great, mm-hmm. it's a great reason to throw grass seeds all over your friends, yeah. <laughs> basically. <laughs> what are mold rains? So mold rains, oh my god, I got the book out and I think I remember. So it's <laughs> like, it's like um, basically you have a plough behind a tractor. Yeah. That something goes in the ground and you run it along yeah. under the ground and it creates a channel yeah. under the soil. Okay. 
So Like a mole tunnel. Yeah, like a mole tunnel. I'm, That's seeing, the, mole I'm train. seeing the logic. I didn't see the connection. I've never seen the connection. <laughs> Thank you for enlightening me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but if you are listening to this and you're like, oh my god, chemistry, no, I can't do this. This is gonna be so hard. Just just uh, Bear with. Don't it's not it's not gonna be hard. It's gonna be nice and easy. I like a dream a dream introduction. It's Maybe gonna we be lovely. Make a song or something. <laughs> We've talked about the rapping <laughs> thing before. This voice. I was singing to myself, mucking out for Maddie, and she came in and she was like, I like the singing. And I feel like she did not. <laughs> so I'm not gonna be spitting my singing anywhere, public. Okay. Thanks. Okay, you sorry. Know. Love the enthusiasm, but no. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Scrap that idea. So we when we used to keep ponies. They had loads of clover. Yeah. So my mum and the women that own it, they got some sheep in. Yeah. And um, <laughs> these sheep were such a nightmare. I think, well, generally sheep, their only purpose in life is to find to unusual die. and yeah. exciting ways to die. So they were looking <laughs> at these sheep and there was one sheep <coughs> by the hedge. Mm. And my mum, she said, she said, looked at him. It's like, I don't think that's moved in half an hour. Mm. Oh no, I hope it's okay. So they went out to look at this sheep and it had got itself stuck in the hedge with brambles on its wool and it was stuck just yeah. with brambles and the weather was horrible <laughs> just to put this in perspective so my mum and her friend spent a good hour yeah. cutting this sheep out of the brambles <laughs> <laughs> and it was a bit like oh it's so very nice <laughs> and was they, struggling and they were like we're to help you they are stupid animals like mm. i love animals like i did a degree in animal biology like i love animals but sheep are idiots <laughs> like so there was a night in wales i'm like 90 percent sure this is a true story it sounds very not true but i'm pretty sure a lecturer mentioned it to me at some point so there was a night in wales where all of the sheep in like the north of the country or somewhere aborted their lambs like all of them spontaneously aborted uh-huh. their lambs and people were like oh my god it's aliens it's like shifts in the magnetic field what they pinned it down to was one sheep in one field had thought it saw something and went huh and then the sheep next to it went huh oh god and then the sheep in the next field went huh and that spread across the entire like county of all these sheep spontaneously aborting their lambs and that is why they are stupid animals Although, have you seen the vi- on not on a pony care or, or animal care, <laughs> have you seen the videos on YouTube where they play like uh, the ping pong with they the play sheep pong with the sheep and they make like a show on the sheep on the side yeah. of the hill? If anyone has a spare five minutes, I don't even know what you'd search to find it. But know. these farmers in probably Wales <laughs> put, um, put a fairy lights in their sheep and then they heard, heard them on the side yeah. of the field and like play games and like play football with them <laughs> <laughs> it's very it's excellent 10 out of yeah. 10 for entertainment value oh come on don't be like this there we go parts on a slope is not going to stand up right <laughs> don't get peach on my lap <laughs> <laughs> i mean it's a healthier snack than we normally go for it's not donuts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit worried that every podcast starts with being like, today Alex is eating. <laughs> <laughs> like a food so diet. Oh, everyone that's listening, because Tessa will probably leave this in and not edit it out. <laughs> you know me so a well. Tin of peaches. <laughs> and may have just nearly died on swallowing the syrup. That's why her voice sounds so <laughs> raspy. <laughs> <clears throat> I love my farrier. I love when you cut. He's just so, an absolute sweetheart. <laughs> if Grant Litchberg is listening to this, I love you. Thank <laughs> you. So I love my farrier too, but he needs to come and shoe my horse <laughs> because um, she's got a crack in her foot. My farrier told me I make the best cup of tea. Um, I've never received such a high compliment from anyone. <laughs> Your like, standards are low. <laughs> I hold, no, tea is important. <laughs> I you drink tea. I don't think my standards are low. I think my like basis for tea is high. <laughs> my standards for tea are high. I made it in a pot, and he was like, he was drinking, and he was like, oh my god, if you made this in a pot, and I was like, yes, I have, and he was like, you can tell the difference is so much better. Than <laughs> Those. You're gonna do the next bit? Or? Oh, sorry, what did you get to? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> what I didn't realise if your horse has mouth ulcers, you can put gastrogard on it and it heals them. 
because gastro, gastro guard is like a, a syringe that you give to horses if you get stomach ulcers and I hadn't put the connection between healing stomach ulcers and healing mouth ulcers. Mm. Do you think? No, I did that back. What? Okay. <laughs> I don't know if it would work on people, but... <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> You're doing it for a long day. Um, <laughs> and that then causes the next thing. Which is tooth decay or caries. 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 I do. I read that and was like... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Stop putting things on the show notes that you can't well, pronounce. Tooth decay is definitely a thing, but yeah. I didn't know that they were called caries. Okay. Any I'm dentist going... listening, please send it to us phonetically. I'm going for caries. Okay. <laughs> they can be caused by pre-existing cavities from inside the tooth, which can reach the surface. Yeah. Cavities could also form, sorry, <laughs> from the outside and work their way in. It's been um, a long day for us. <laughs> <laughs> I went for a run this morning. This why? is why I'm tired. Stop going for a run. <laughs> Extracurricular exercise. <laughs> Unacceptable. Um, anyway, back to the podcast. <laughs> um... The ne- we're nearly done, <laughs> I promise. Sorry, the- I'm a bit distracted this time. <laughs> it's always when we're tired. I'm not that tired. <laughs> <laughs> it's not me! I'm not the distraction! Sorry. Um, <laughs> okay. That's right, you can carry on eating. <laughs> I feel like we started something now, so I don't care anymore if I have food when I come to record. Today it is... Pringles! <laughs> no, but I actually bought these for the picnic, so my mum told me to bring snacks and she'd bring like the pasta salad. Aww. And then she turned up and she'd brought the whole picnic, so I was like, no one's eating my Pringles. I wish oh, my well. mum did that. I'm just kidding mum, if you're listening, you're great, you're fine. <laughs> <That's all right. laughs> Please don't send me an angry text again. <laughs> I mean, the I forgot that. So when, so for anyone listening, welcome to the Pony Podcast. Yeah, hi guys. <laughs> Hello. Um, we're going to start with a little roundup of all the times we've seen the vet this week. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, uh, what's hard number one seeing the vet was for me was just before Barbie when my horse had the tiniest, like tiniest bit of swelling on her leg, and I panicked to call the vet, and the vet came out and was like okay so she's basically fine and I was like oh but she might have done a dungeon and uh, yeah the vet was like mm, she's she's fine and then and then the second time was I had been planning on giving my horse a day off and then felt really guilty so went out at eight o'clock at night to ride and I didn't realize but apparently she holds her lip in her teeth when she gets tense and she was holding her lip in her teeth and she tripped so she put her teeth straight through her lip and there was blood everywhere. I was covered in blood. I was crying on the phone to the vet because there was so much blood and her lip was like hanging off and it was vile. And, um, and I've just taken my earphones out and realised that they too are covered in blood from where I was covered in blood and was like ripping them out of my ear and like unconnecting them from my phone so I could ring the vet and like didn't know what to do. And yeah, there's blood all over them. Aww. Her lip is now stitched back on for anyone who's worried. It's stitched back on and it looks to be healing well. So she... <laughs> Might come out of this with half of it. Half of it looks like it's probably gonna come off. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, but it's only half of it, so you know yeah. they can do. Apparently, the vet was like, "Yeah, she'll be fine with just like a little chunk missing. She just yeah. no modelling career." For <laughs> <a bit> <laughs> We found a, so it, I feel like most yards have like a, a vet cupboard and in the back there's something black and sticky that you don't, we Arch found, treacle. <laughs> really? we Arch treacle. was Kaelin <laughs> and we like had to unstick it and everyone was like, I was like, oh my goodness, that's Kaelin, like have you, I've learned all about that doing my AH and all of this and everyone was like, oh cool, how do you use it? And I was like, you don't, <laughs> you use animal text instead. A sand crack? Can be from like. Um... Every time you say crack, it makes me giggle. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> it's that kind of that, it's that time of day. <laughs> anyway. Just giggling with the episode. So, sand crack. <laughs> Continue. Oh, stop. I'll get a hold of myself eventually. <laughs> has many causes. Um, <laughs> As Alex reads this section in the I'm binder. not reading it. I have show notes. I researched it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sure. And then the other weird one was I did for uh, 
neighbour is a, a sheep uh, chair, so you can uh, trim sheep's feet um, easily. Um, so it's like a hammock. And I put it on my Facebook page, trying to get people to see if they could guess what it is, and uh, no one guessed it at <laughs> no, all. It, it took a long time for people to get anywhere. Uh, I did have like a dog deck chair, so it was almost there, but <laughs> no, it was, it was just a very strange thing. But uh, it's, I don't know. <laughs> love that. That's something you get on greetings cards, isn't it? Like a sheep and a hammock. Oh, I yeah. just love it. Yeah, <laughs> greetings from the it. beach. Yeah. I hope you're having a bar really in time. <laughs> Okay, enough. <laughs> <laughs> Let's stop that there, shall we? <laughs>